And he is the Matt that is leading the way for the A's. It's not his third base buddy, Chapman, but it's Olsen over at first. And if he gets on a roll, this could be special. By the way, how about that bat he is using right now? The number that he's got to get to is 24. The average exit velocity for Mancini, 104. Average distance, 447 feet. Number one for Matt Olson. That's what, is that going to stay fair? It is literally hugging the line and no, missed by a hair. That number 24 that he's shooting for is his batting practice pitcher throws one two inside. That's better, but he wants to keep that fair. The most home runs by an Orioles player ever in a whole home run derby. Mancini now holds that record. Ooh, that one's a home run. Line shot that crawls over that wall. As Eddie has pointed out during our Sports Center and Baseball Tonight shows, that right field wall wasn't there. It was a lot shorter. You'll see left field and center field a little easier to hit a home run, but you're hitting it the distance that Olsen's hitting it. You don't have to worry, and here comes a massive one. Whoa, third deck. Yeah, and he's starting to get on a roll, and when you start getting on a roll like this, forget about asking for timeout. This one could be affected by that wall. Uh-uh, went right over. He's on a roll. Oh, my. Third deck, maybe higher. Third deck. Okay, he's leaning back. This is just around the time if he just... Oh, never mind. Nope. <laughs> Pause that. Last one and longest one, 472. There's the liner. He's got minute 18 to go. I think he should ask for timeout. Yeah, there and he is. did. So does he have it in him? He needs 14 to tie. Timeout. Robert Dubois. He's in prison for putting Superman in the ICU. I'm not joining your suicide squad. We'll see. It's okay, I'm not okay. Let's meet your team. <laughs> I need to feel the raindrops on my head. On my head. I'm a superhero! Trailer online in theaters and on HBO Max, August 6th, we did all right. As we welcome you back, some of the images that you can see over on ESPN2 as well, the StatCast edition. You see Matt Olson and what he's done. His longest home run's gone 472 feet. That hardest hit ball, 110. Certainly something to keep an eye on. Those that have participated in this before and have the hardest hit balls, they've all, the leader in that category, has made it into the finals. So this is now a look into the ESPN2 StatCast program. Are you comfortable? Because you did that for a couple of years. Are you okay sitting out here? I am very okay sitting out here. <laughs> I mean, you get to see the player up close, and you can hear it right out of the bat in the reaction of the player. Love to see the back foot of the player to see if they have a lot of stamina left. He needs to get on a roll here. you got 40 seconds left. He's got his bonus. That last one traveled 495 feet. So we now have the longest home run, nearly 500 feet. But he's still only halfway there. He's got at least another minute and a half, and that one is pounded high and gone. And the next one's already exiting stage right. He needs to get to 15 before the 30-second extra time to at least have a chance. There it is right there. Anything else besides that? There we go. Yeah, he's there, and we are down to four seconds. The 27-year-old rips another one. And the buzzer beater uh -uh. is foul. He needs seven. He'll have a minute to match Mancini. Woo! The balls are doing exactly what they thought we would do. They are flying out of this ballpark. Yeah. 60 seconds. He hit two home runs Sunday, and his teammate Chris Bassett said, oh, he's really good. But I'll be honest, I saw Gallo's batting practice. we got to get lucky. He's off to a really good start. No, no, that's fine. Carl, I just talked to Trey Mancini, and he admitted 
after that first minute when he had just two home runs, he was like, oh, my God, I got to represent here. He picked it up. He talked about how much fun it is. Yeah. He's already representing. I mean, just think of what he stands for, his recovery from that stage three colon cancer. He's representing in a big way already. So here we go with the clock now at a minute and counting, and Olsen needs seven. Of course he's going to have a lot of fun. 23 home runs in the first round. Oh, my, right here. That's, that's going to be 18. That'll be 19. Uh-uh. Remember, not a cumulative, so as soon as he gets to 25, that will end it, and he will win if he gets there. He's got 30 seconds, and he still needs four. That one's going to stay fair if it's got the distance, and it does. Oh, my. Oh. Upper deck. Two to tie. Ground ball. 15 seconds. That'll... I that's not going to do it. That's, that's not, not going to do it. it. Oh, yes, that, that will. He's got four seconds to hit one. Yep. And that's going to go foul. Throw another one. Throw another one. No. He did not throw another. He didn't throw another. Everybody was staring at And that one was foul from Jump Street. What an effort from Olsen. But it's Mancini that moves on. And this is interesting because this is what Trevor Story told us early on. The right-handed hitter has an advantage. How about this last shot right here? Need that one more to tie it. Look at the reaction. Or get back in and let's throw another one. We stared at that one for a while. Tatis and everyone else was right there <laughs> along with him. That's gone. But it's Trey Mancini that will advance. Matt Olson of the Oakland A's is eliminated. And if the rest of the night is going to be like the first round matchup, don't go anywhere.